Hi, I'm Joe Hupsey, and I'm here with Rob Meyer to talk about his paper, Creating a Complete Low Power Verification Strategy Using the Common Power Format and UVM. Um, so Rob, before we talk about the paper, maybe just introduce your background a little bit. Sure. Yeah, my name is Robert Meyer. I'm an um, engineer at Medtronic for about the past nine years, uh, focusing in verification. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got about 22 years of industry experience in both design and verification of integrated circuits. Terrific. Um, so at a high level, what were some of the low power verification issues that this project had to uh, grapple with? Mm -hmm. So there was a couple. One was the integrity of the low power signals themselves, making sure that they behaved in an in a acceptable fashion. And the, the other aspect of that was the low power intent of the design. Mm -hmm. so for example, when we uh, intended to go into a low power state, did we successfully do so and did, were we able to successfully wake up back up again? Makes sense. Now, tell me more about how you address the co-verification of the firmware, the low-power firmware, with the underlying, you know, RTL. Right. So we were able to, using ISX, actually drive low-power firmware commands into the uh, system on a chip, and then um, you, using a, a UVM-compliant UVC built around the hardware and the firmware, we were able to co-verify those two elements and verify the low power intent of the design. Intriguing. Um, now, there's even more intriguing points in the paper. One what really leapt out at me was really neat how you used the power format file to generate both the PSL and the skeleton of the UVM test bench. So how did you do, how did you pull off that trick? Yeah, so by using the CPF file, that really gave us a, a giant head start at the beginning of the project. And we were able to, uh, for the uh, PSL assertions, it was simple, as simple as using, uh, just um, including the CPF file in the um, simulator command line. Okay. Now, the UVC uh, part of it, we, we ran a binary script mm -hmm. to generate the beginnings of a UVC, okay. and then we uh, customize that for our particular environment to include all of the power power states in our design. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so last but not least, how did you pull together the results from all the simulations that you were running? Mm -hmm. So once again, we drove, uh, used the CPF file to drive a development of a verification plan mm -hmm. automatically, and then we customized that verification plan and included it with MetaText in the system verification plan, and using that we were able to tie in all of the results that we had and verify that our low power verification effort was complete. Terrific. Well, hey, thanks for sharing uh, the details in the paper, and I look forward to reading in more detail when it comes out in the conference proceedings. Absolutely.